So what we're looking at here is the Volar brake pads that I put on the XR650R. You might, you might have seen my other video. Not too much riding. Unfortunately, I don't have an odometer on this bike, so I'm not quite sure on the mileage, but it wasn't all that many because usually brake pads at least last me a year. I haven't ridden this bike as much as I used to. And also, they over it overheated the uh, fluid, and I lost my rear brake going down Aspen, the, the road that goes down Aspen there, the, the ski slope. Not quite sure what that road's called, but from Taylor Pass on over. So I picked up some Honda ones. This is, and that's what usually I, I've run or I've done EBC too, but Honda ones. I paid with the AMA discount at Apex Sports in Colorado Springs. I paid like $31 and some change. So this is, you get obviously two pads. That's what they look like. Really meaty, huh? But notice the difference in the construction. Zoom in here if I can. Do, do, do. Now let's check out the layers. Get my screwdriver here to see if I can point. So you got this metal top coat which is, or plate which is I would guess so it doesn't squeal. And then you got this like I think it's a ceramic layer. Now what that's going to do is not transfer heat from the pad to here to your caliper. Meaning your fluid is going to stay, your brake fluid is going to stay much more cooler. So yeah, these cost a lot more than $5 pads, but you're not going to boil over either. Quality made, you can see how much material they give you. And I think well worth it because, like I said, good brake pads usually last me at least all year, if not two years. Um, so we'll take a look at the Volar. I mean, it's pretty straightforward what I've already kind of held up. But you got your pad, you got your metal backing, no special coating, and the heat. So the heat transfers through, especially as it's getting thinner. It, the heat is dissipating into the metal part here, bracket, and then transferring to your caliper. And that's what causes you to overheat. So just one more time, you can see the different layers and this will stay a lot cooler. Also, I'm sure there's a lot more probably metal in this and it will last longer. The line here is help to kind of clean and take off um, brake dust. Sometimes they help with uh, squealing. But that's the anatomy of a brake pad and a good quality one versus literally $5 because it was $10 for the set, front and rear. I think the fronts are still good. I, I should, I'll probably have to check those. But um, you know, you don't tend to use the fronts as much. Off-road, you're, I don't know. I drag the, the, the rear brake a lot help slide around corners and what have you but anyways that, that's pretty much the anatomy of a brake pad and I would highly recommend getting like a Honda brake pad for your bike and when you go look at them hopefully this helps you so you understand why you're paying more um, but if you're on a budget sure the Volar worked if you're doing aggressive riding though you're probably going to uh, lose your brakes if going down a steep hill so I, I would highly recommend the Honda ones and Volar is only good if you're on a budget. So there we have it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and check out my other videos.